Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will do complete unboxing, installation and demonstration of RMS Vesta 305i 3 channel ECG machine. Moreover, in this video, we will see how to take the print through inbuilt printer and transfer the PDF data to pen drive for 12 channel printout. Before starting, I request you to please subscribe our YouTube channel and like the videos. Now after opening the box, we will get one pack list, one ECG user manual, one clamp electrode set of 4 numbers, one 15 pin ECG cable, then one ECG gel bottle of 250ml in the small box we will get two numbers fuse and one number ECG charger in the other small box we will get one ECG earthing wire one ECG roll of 80 mm and one set of bulb electrodes and finally this is the main console or main part of ECG machine hello friends let us start the installation in this first we will fix the fuse then we will enter the clinic information and then we will do the ECG roll setup. Now for fixing the fuse we need to go to back side of the machine. Below the handle you will get one black color minus button. Unscrew this button with the help of screwdriver. Now take the one fuse from ECG charger box and insert it inside the machine. Then tighten the screw properly with the help of screwdriver after fixing the fuse now let us switch on the machine after the machine gets on first thing we need to do is to add the clinic information for that first we need to click on menu button then settings then go to clinic information then enter so here we can change the clinic information, clinic name we can enter, doctor name, address 1, address 2 and phone number. Now let us change the clinic name first. You can write your clinic name. Then press enter for moving to next entry then change doctor name then again press enter for moving to next entry address we can write here address 2 also we can write then phone number or mobile number we can enter here then move to ok and press enter now we have to make important print settings so just go to print settings then press enter then mode is there measurement and medians medians we can make it off usually it is not required so whenever we need it we can make it on otherwise keep it off only format we can change it to 3 plus rhythm lead or anyone we can select so i'm just keeping 3 plus rhythm lead then any rhythm lead you can select like first second 
or any one we can select then press enter once all set then press escape now just move to ecg settings then press enter so these are all filter settings we can keep it standard for diagnostic range and if we are using in icu then only we need to change the settings now press escape two times and just go to main screen so now we will change the display formats so here are different formats given I am selecting here 6 into 2 format because in this format we can see all the waveforms at one time. Now let us start the ECG roll setup. We can unlock the printer cap by gently pressing it once. Then next is to place the roll and keep the paper near to printer. Printer will automatically feed the paper due to auto sensor. We can press paper feed button for more paper. Then we can take the paper out from printer cover. Then just press the printer cover. So now our printer cover will get locked. Our next step is to plug in the patient cable. Please plug in and then tight it properly then we have to connect all the leads to patient here we are taking ECG with the help of ECG simulator after connecting all the leads to patient we have to add patient information so we just have to click patient information button then we have to add the patient information first thing is ID then name then press enter for moving to next age then gender male and female we can select from arrow keys then press enter for moving to next is bait next is height then manually we can measure the BP and enter here then press ok now we can just check all the waveforms if all waveforms are coming ok means there is no artifacts then press on save button it will take 10 seconds to save the data so now data is been saved into the machine now we have to press the green color button for getting ECG printout. So now the print we are getting first is the clinic information, then patient information, then all the waveforms we are getting in this. Then next we will get the axis graph. All parameters interpretation in the end doctor can make his comments this is again a full review of ECG printout so first is uh, clinic information then patient information with date and time waveforms axis graph parameters with interpretation and last physician comments now we'll see how to uh, copy the data into pen drive and take a 12 channel printout so first of all we need to insert the pen drive into the usb port given back side of the machine now first press the menu button then go to review 
then press enter then select that particular patient suppose we are selecting seven number then press enter now here four options recall ecg view results transfer and delete so we'll just go to transfer and press enter so here again three options pdf rms software and cancel we will press enter on pdf options so now file created successfully data transfer 100 percent 736 kb to uh, usb pen drive now we can press enter and escape two times to go back main screen now take back your pen drive from ecg uh, machine and then insert to your laptop or system usb port this type of file with id you will get in your pen drive just double click on this and you will see the full disclosure of all the waveforms along with clinic information and parameters so you can just click on print and then ok finally we will get this printout from a4 printer